But yeah, let's see here. That's legit if a game has even a nugget of challenge, I expect game journalists to call it stupid hard and bad. I wonder if there's any games that I would actually call like a freaking Dark Souls or something. Like there was freaking uh, the thing where Bob in BDSP in the most recent session where we uh, finished that game off with uh, the freaking Cynthia battle that I was under leveled for, which I still believe is like the hardest Pokemon battle I've ever had in my entire life playing Pokemon and whatnot. But I wouldn't say that that battle was Dark Souls. I'd say that that battle was freaking way harder than Dark Souls. Like straight up, I'd rather freaking refight. Oh, let's be, let's get this freaking synchronization play while we're here, I guess. I think I'd rather rematch Dark Eater Madir than, you know, worry about taking out one more of Cynthia's Pokemon in the underleveled state I was in during that rematch. Like that was freaking, oh, that was no bueno right there, quite frankly. I'd rather reface Dark Eater Madir, Capra Demon. Who else did I hate facing off in the Dark Souls trilogy? I need to, I need to think on that. <laughs> There's a whole lot of bosses. I read a Washington Post article recently suggesting that game journalism is inherently flawed because a typical gamer is more likely to play a game at leisure over a long period of time, as opposed to a critic who needs to rush through a game to meet a review deadline. Yeah, that, that could well be true there. Like, I mean, there are a lot of games that I cover on this channel that are, you know, just covered for review purposes, mostly like, uh, like BDSP. Like, if, I would not have even bought BDSP if I, uh, if I wasn't doing a review on it myself, um, and, uh, and freaking, if I just got it for free randomly, like, if I just kind of found myself with it, I would not have been able to bring myself to beat it, like, it's not, not very fun, is the thing, so, that, I don't really know what it's like to play games on this channel that feel like work, and this, with BDSP and whatnot. But then there's games I'm playing like Assassin's Creed Unity here, where the reason that we're doing the AC series and whatnot and going through them all is for freaking fun, first and foremost. So like, I'm, I'm, oh, come on! So apart from like a little jank like that, I do enjoy my time doing stuff like this. Like, I've never had a review copy of a game before. Never really, you know, known, oh, come on! What that's like, you know, getting a whole bunch of a series and review and stuff like that at the ready before it's a, before it's officially released. I did get a, a freaking demo with the game Dark Deity before it came out, but I didn't actually get to play it myself. It was the freaking game director playing it and telling me about it while I got to like ask questions and whatnot. So, uh, and that was a video that I was allowed to, you know, post the moment the game was like officially, officially released and whatnot. So there was a time that I got like sort of access to a game early-ish, I guess with Dark Deity, but like, who knows, the, maybe, maybe one of these days with the channel, with the channel having grown in the ways that it has, maybe there might start being some instances in the future, or maybe I should start looking into like, how would one request a review copy? Because, uh, you know, even if I request a review copy and like my request isn't approved, it's like, whatever, that doesn't change anything, but may as well try. And maybe the channel's at a size now where they might, some, places might consider review copies that'd be interesting i don't know i don't know but we'll uh something to maybe consider something to maybe consider might be interesting but yeah i'm sure it would be like hella stressful and whatnot going through a going through a game for review purposes and it's like i gotta do so much of this before it actually comes out i'm on a time limit here to uh here to get through it. Can I exit the haystack, please? I don't know why I couldn't for a hot second there. There's a social club. Should I really quick? I'm going to go really quickly renovate it and then we'll do the next mission is what we'll do. But yeah, might also explain why game journals hate any kind of challenge because I didn't come here to get challenged. They came here to go from point A to point B and get their whole, uh, get their whole consensus. They just want an easy, an easy time there or something. Yeah, let's, uh, let's increase the revenue of the thing, Bob. Is what we can do. What is in here? Another level, probably? I keep forgetting I can just use Eagle Vision and just, like, actually check. I should really be, really be doing that more often. Oh, dang, it's a freaking lockpick level 3. This is why I need to go finish freaking Sequence 9 right now instead of getting distracted with other stuff like this. I don't know why I couldn't open it for a hot second. Gosh, diggity darn it. Okay. Oh, 
I never want to have to deal with these locks ever again. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I just want to freaking get lockpicking level 3 so that's never called into question whether I can open one of these chests ever again, you know? I'd rather it not be a question of like, hmm, will I uh, be able to do the, will I be able to do the thing? Also, I'm going to really quickly do, come on. I hate how I have to be like on flat ground for using this. I'll just use this to get some of my phantom blades back and stuff. And I'll like buy the rest off of, off of this dude and whatnot. But yeah, then there is... Or there's that one guy in Kotaku that was like, easy mode is too easy for Final Fantasy VII to remake. What? <laughs> the easy mode is too easy. Well then. Also, I don't know what's going on, but for whatever reason, my I'm looking on Task Manager on my top screen over there, and I see it like randomly shoot up to like a crazy amount of CPU usage. Mostly from Assassin's Creed Unity, but a little bit from OBS, which shouldn't be happening too much as I'm using NVENC as my encoder, which encodes with the GPU rather than the CPU, but it is a little bit concerning. I'm regularly hitting 99% and 100% CPU usage, so uh, if the stream randomly dies, just like assume my computer exploded or something. Um, yeah, that thing's up there. Um, <laughs> that's so freaking weird. One of these days, like maybe on like an April 1st thing, Rebob, on the channel, I should do like a joke review of some sort. Like, something that I've thought about doing before is, uh, you know, just make, like, a super generic and also parodic kind of review of some game. I think would be, like, something pretty funny to do on the channel one day. Could be quite funny. There's a cockade over here, so I guess I'll go and get it. Mystery Dungeon Sky review. Let's go. If I, uh, if I ever do, like, a full actual serious review of it, like you know, talk about more than just, like, the story and music and main game and stuff. If I actually go through doing, like, all the dungeons I can and, uh, you know, fully review that. Might be a little bit of a different story, especially considering that freaking thing where Bob that happened with Midnight Force the other day that stressed me the heck out, you know? All right, yeah, let's see here. Let's see here. Let's renovate the thing. Look at this. Bada bing, bada boom. More revenue. That we need. Yes. Cool. Another social club renovated, so I believe there's only one left somewhere in the world. Uh. Hi. Um. Hi there. I need to be able to see the other guy here. Oh, I should use the uh, new staggering strikes that I have. That's what I should do from time to time. Can I do it here? Whoa. Come on. Bonk. Bonk. Neat. Well, not super big on the post-game dungeons. Feel like all the bad ideas went to post-game. Yeah, it's, it's seeming kind of like that. In a way, isn't it? It is kind of seeming like that, huh? Yeah, always 99% slash 100% CPU usage. It doesn't normally get like the, that when I'm playing this game. Don't know why it is now. But it is... Oh! I may as well run to the freaking main mission from here. That's what I may as well do. It is on the way, so I may as well here. It all worked out. I was going to look at like where I could potentially fast travel to uh, get over there, but I guess I don't have to worry about it. Thank goodness there's freaking convenient lifts like all over the place. Can I air assassinate, please? Can I maybe air assassinate? Come on, Arno, you can make that jump. Freaking fine. If he doesn't want to air assassinate. Ah, oh, man. But yeah, admit for how short-lived it is the post-game storyline is actually really good and it points you genuinely to question how they got away with some of the crap they did. I don't... Like, there's some interesting points in the post-game story that... Ooh, there's a cockade over here. Um, There's some interesting points in the post-game story, but I don't like how, like, the main big bad by the end is just evil for the sake of being evil, pretty much. Whoa! Okay, that worked out just fine. Wait, what? How do I get this? Do I need to jump from, like, up here or something, maybe? Probably. Whoa. No! But that seems like it might be right. Maybe, maybe. From like here. There we go. Sweet. I wouldn't mind getting that freaking black outfit color scheme before the end of the game. 
Okay, so we reached 60. New color scheme unlocked. I know that it needs like 100 for the, uh, for the black one. So, hold on. No, um, equipment colors. Which one did I just unlock, I wonder? So that's 80. Don't know which one is the 61. I probably won't say that it's 60 anymore because I'll probably unlock. Yeah, this, the freaking black color scheme. I want that. Oh, that's pretty cool too. This one's a little bit better. Black green. I wonder if I unlock that one. No, maybe I had that one earlier. I think I had it earlier. I don't remember. I don't remember anymore. Who knows? We could always be Waluigi or something. Yeah, maybe let's go ahead and uh, do this for now. I think it's a color scheme that we used once before, but on like a bit of a different outfit. Is not half bad. Is a not half bad look in my opinion. Squeezy. Squeezy coming through. Oh, it got pretty dark all of a sudden, didn't it? Hello. Hoarders. All right. Marie Lev the Grel is holding a gala at Le Palais Luxembourg. Infold what the hell? <laughs> Infiltrate the palace and kill her before she starts a riot. And we get a legendary phantom hood for that. Whoa. You were right. Marie Lévesque had men unloading the barges and taking the grain to the Palais du Luxembourg. If the people think the royal family has been hoarding food in a time of famine. Bedlam. Just the sort of thing Germain seems to thrive on. Madame Lévesque is yours. I'll find the stolen grain and try to get it out of there before anyone finds it. Stay out of trouble. Don't get caught. Help! Help! Someone help me! Hand over the powder! Done yourself this time. Merci. Now pray, excuse me, I need to see to my husband. All right, the next assassination mission assassinates Marie Levesque, or however the heck it was pronounced. Levesque, he said something like that. I have no idea. Explore the area, create opportunities. 47 entrances. Three collectibles, nine alarm bells, 60 guards. God. So can I just like set off those fireworks? Can I just like shoot it? Rescue whoever the heck. Don't trigger any. I guess I'll just do this. I was thinking about just like shooting it from afar. I'm really glad he didn't shoot Mr. Dudo the moment I air assassinated his friendo. Hi. Defend the merchant. What have I just set up all of his, uh, all of his fireworks? Merci, monsieur. Are you all right? <laughs> He's dragging the guy with him! Fine, fine. You will see me off safely. I promise you the show of a lifetime. Far be it from me to ignore an artist in need. Um. Almost there! Yep, that, uh, that's perfectly reasonable. That's perfectly reasonable right there. Dang, I wanted to blend into the crowd there, but alas. Looks like all these guys are like super weak though. So that works out just fine for me. I recently realized that you can probably just like roll these shots like that to dodge them. So you don't necessarily have to attack the person that's shooting, just freaking roll it. Something I realized semi-recently. <laughs> can I loot him? Sweet, he had 10 Fs. Wow, isn't that crazy? But yeah, let's see here. Um, wow. But yeah, I do feel like the post-game story of Explorers of Sky could have been handled a bit better there. Don't grenade me. How about you freaking don't? Oh, you're a tough one, though. You're a... Ow, stop. You are so dang rude. How about you don't? Whoa, he freaking rolled up. Ow. How about you freaking don't? 
Ow. <laughs> nice random NPC there. Darn you. Well, yes, there goes one of my medicines. That's the last of them. Is it now? Ah, <laughs> oh, then he moves out. Well, <laughs> what you gonna do, I guess? What you gonna do? Well, there's a new guy now. <laughs> um, okay then. Sir, are you aware of the uh, dude under you there? I wish I could reward you properly. No need. The distraction will be more than enough. What was that? Nothing. Why do you say, what was that? Like there was something in the distance, not like a, what was that? Like inquiring about a, you know, something that was just said. So apparently that wasn't the dudo in question to rescue. So there's somebody actually in there that I am going to need to, uh, to rescue. Whoops. Yeah, let's go ahead and uh, get that one medicine that I used up, I suppose, is what I'll do. Um, but yeah. It's something that I'm going to have, I'm also going to have to pay more attention to the post-game story as we go through it in uh, like this run through of Explorers of Sky as opposed to in the past. Wait, there's an assistance opportunity down there. Wait a hot ticker, what kind of assistance opportunity? Okie doke. Let me just go ahead and say, new to Assassin's rank, advanced veteran. Whoa. What is this assistance opportunity? Oh, this is the dudo to save? Maybe? Lockpick or steal a key? But this is... Is this the Thomas Leviske? I don't know. But I'll, uh, I'll free the dudos in there is what I'll do. I'll give it a... I'll give it a shot. If there ain't dudos in here. There are some dudos around here. That is not where I want you to take cover, Arno. Not quite it. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and say, do that, methinks. So, <laughs> what the heck is this weird window balcony thing here? Okay, well, consider this palace infiltrated. Find the target. Well, I gotta go free the uh, prisoners and stuff as well. Maybe taking out some of these alarm bells might not be a bad idea, just in case. Maybe. Can I? No, I can't quite make it to over there. You suspect nothing? Those two aren't baddies, right? Yeah, those two aren't baddies. Which means I can go ahead and take a this dudo. And then I can go ahead and take out this dudo. Is what I can do. And then I can get the, go get the blue over here. You want blue? You want the blue? Where's the blue? Is it? It is down on the ground. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and get the blue then. So I believe these are the uh, costume chest thing, Bobs. I'm fairly certain. So yoink. I will go ahead and take that. Oh, I guess sometimes they're costumes and sometimes they're a bunch of Fs. And this time it was a bunch of Fs. I suppose is what it was. All right, so no dudos around here, it seems like. So I can probably head back in now. That's what I can probably do. So then, how do I get down below anyway? I'm fairly certain that way is like the way towards my target. So maybe this way isn't the isn't the way to be going right now. I can take out some of the guards here for now, I suppose. But uh, that guy didn't see anything. Um, so there's some bells inside, too. It seems like. There's some bells around here. Wait. Uh-oh. Oh, um. Uh. Uh. Oh. Oh. I need- I was about to say, did I do the thing? I guess I need to actually, uh... I don't know who put the smoke bomb down, because it certainly wasn't me. So I'm just gonna, like, guard this bell here. 
just to make sure that, uh, whoops, that, you know, nobody freaking gets it. So if my target's incapacitated over there, I should just be able to, like, leave them be, go, uh, free the, uh, free the guy for the other thing, Bob, and then go back and assassinate since I just incapacitated before, since the rifle's a non-lethal, non-lethal blunt weapon is the thing. Oh, I can't do the staggering strike. Can't seem to do that. Come on. How about you don't? Yeah, I know my target's incapacitated. I know. And that's actually perfect because I can just leave them on the ground and come back later then, right? I just still haven't triggered any alarms, so, uh... Okay then, how do I get down below? To those cells and stuff. I'm not <laughs> I'm not gonna assassinate her. I'm just gonna freaking leave her there, chillin'. <laughs> and I'll I'll be back later. I know we'll go closer and press X. Freaking leave me be. I'll come back later, okay? Think I won't come back? This is probably gotta be like down. Oh, it's literally just down here. Okay. I thought it would be like underground or something. Is what I kind of thought it would have to be. So. Should probably just do that, perhaps. Maybe, maybe. Fight for me. Where is he going? Where is he going? Oh, they're out of range now, but uh. Let's see here. Okay, while well, they're busy fighting over there. Oh my good gracious. It'd be a lot easier if you weren't talking to distract me. Probably only got so much time with the guards over there. Oh dang it. I know my target's incapacitated. Open up! Let's see here. I know my target's incapacitated. Leave me alone. Yeah, this should become the difficulty of the level 3 locks once I unlock lockpicking level 3. Oh. Oh! Oh! Oh, that was close! Oh, that was really, really close there. Holy crap. So I got both the lockpicks off just in time. Oh, and now those guys are fighting because I just freed them. Whew. Whew. Nice. So now I can go take out my target. This is what I can do. Yeah. Those guys are fighting over there. I can just come over here and say, do that. And then I'm out of here. See you later. Better not. Okay. Okay, cool. Well, everything is A-OK. -okay. That worked out pretty well, didn't it? Don't shoot me. As long as you don't trigger any alarm down there, which you shouldn't be able to at this point, I hope. Hopefully not. Well, time to die! <laughs> For your crimes against the Templar Order, you are cast out. Let any man offering succor to the exile share his fate. Oh, somebody speaks to me. No, it's mine, De La Serre. De La Serre! Milady, you have a caller. I need your help, Marie. You were right. King Louis's been talking to all sorts he shouldn't have. Plotting against the revolution out of one side of his mouth, while he promises to support the Constitution out the other. Good. I trust you can get this information into the proper hands, Monsieur Le Pelletier. Of course, Grand Master. With this evidence in hand, the King's conviction is certain. Well then. Gods! Gods! They only call for guards now when I come and actually assassinate, not when I freaking knocked her out with my rifle. Sounds about right. Oh, uh, wait. Was this the open one that just closed? Freaking. 
Get out of here. Whoa! Well, I guess I'm not shooting you then, in that a case. Ah, so the green bits just mark the uh, exit points. Come on, let me just reload real quick. Let me just reload really quickly here. Give me a hot ticker. Okay, I'm out of here. See ya. I'm out of here. See ya later. I've got places to be in right now. That place is somewhere out here. So if you will kindly excuse me, I'm going to be on my merry way now. There we go. Become anonymous. There we go. Legendary Phantom Hood. Sweet. Hoarders. Wait, I didn't rescue... Who the heck is the guy I needed to rescue then?